Hey everyone, Matt here with Night Run Studio. Reusable tiles is a common practice in 2D games to keep your workflow nice and manageable and so that you don't have to create so many assets. It allows you to quickly create new worlds and maps. In this video, we're going to do an intro to Unity's tile map system, and I'll follow it up with other videos which will show how to add multiple layers to your tile maps and also an advanced tile map feature including animated tiles. Let's get started. For this video, we'll be using Unity's built-in tile map system. We added this with our 2D package in the first video, but in case you missed that one, you can go to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry, and then just download the 2D package. You know, we're also going to need some assets here. I'm using the Tiny Swords Asset Pack. I'm just going to quickly find the files that I want to use. I'm actually going to be using three different files here. I'm just going to drag and drop those files right into Unity, and now they're ready to use. We've got a little setup to do, so I'll shift-click all three of these so that we can multi-edit them. I'll change sprite mode to multiple, as each of these files has more than one sprite on it. Pixels per unit, in this case, is 64. We'll change filter mode to point no filter, and our format to 32-bit. With that done, we can click on an individual sprite and go to the sprite editor. Here we just want to slice up our tile palette. So instead of automatic, we'll do the grid by cell size. I'll pick 64 by 64, slice it, and then click apply. And let's just do the same thing for this elevation tile as well as for our shadow tile. We're just about ready to start tiling here, so I'm going to actually create my first tile map, which will be our ground layer. To do this, I'll just right click over in the hierarchy. I'm going to go to 2D Object, Tile Map, Rectangular. We'll call this one Ground, and then I'm just going to close up the Tile Map and Tile Map Renderer components. All we have to do now before we can start tile mapping is to create an actual tile palette. To do this, we'll go to Window, 2D, Tile Palette. This will create a floating menu, and I like to just grab this top tab here and dock it up beside my inspector. We'll create a new palette. I'll call mine Grass Tiles. Here I'm going to create a new folder inside of my sprites. I'll call this one grass tiles as well. We've now got an empty tile palette and we can just actually grab the files that we split up earlier, drag them over, and this time you want to make sure that all these tiles go into the grass tiles folder, otherwise they'll flood your sprite folder with all the different tiles that are on it. We just want to keep those in one place. I'm going to add my elevation as well and my shadows. I'm just going to toggle on my grid here so that I can see each of the squares we're going to be painting on. And now this will just work a lot like working in Paint or Photoshop. You can grab one tile at a time and paint them in. Your paint bucket tool can fill in spaces. We can also use the eraser tool. At this point already you can hit play and start walking, but you'll notice we have a little bit of a layering issue. This is where we'll return to our inspector and take a look at that tile map renderer component. Here we want to change our order and layer and set our ground so that it is below our player, who is currently rendering on level 0. With that done, our player now renders on top and we can walk around on our grass. I'm just going to take a second or two to make this grass a little larger here. And now at this point I'd like to add some decorations onto my grass. So I'm just going to take this grass tile here, but you'll notice if I just start painting that it pokes holes in my existing tile map. So what I actually want to do is right click on my main grid here and we're going to add a new tile map layer. I'm going to call this one Decorations. Now if I click right away again, you'll notice it's still punching holes. That's because I want to make sure that my active tile map is set to Decorations. I'll warn you, this can cause problems if you forget that step. Now I can paint in a little bit of extra grass. And while I'm here, what I'm going to do is set my ground to a layer of negative 1, and my Decorations to 0, and then I'll set my player at 5 so that he renders on top of both those layers. While in here, I'm just going to add one more tile map. I'm going to call this one Elevation, and this is where we're going to put our mountains. For now, I'm just going to set these at layer 1, and then I'm just going to click and drag in order to select the entire mountain piece for now, and we can just drag those right into our map and click them on. With that done, I have a much more interesting looking map. However, I have the problem that I can just walk right on top of these. So the last thing we're going to do for this intro video is just add a collider to make it so that we're not constantly walking on top of things. All right, now I just quickly added in a little more interesting shaped mountains. And now what we're going to do is create a collider for this. To do that, we can click on Elevation, head over to our inspector, and we're just going to add a Tile Map Collider 2D. 
just by adding it, it will automatically map to any tiles on this layer. And so if I click on my gizmos here and zoom in, you can see there is a green outline on all of the tiles on this layer. Now when I hit play, I will in fact collide with the mountains. The one thing I don't like is that I come around behind here. You can see that I kind of bounce into it rather than it layering on top of me nicely. Additionally, when I come along the side here, you can see that my sword is sticking on top of the mountain, which looks a little funny. We'll deal with that stuff in the next video, and we'll also add some fun things like the ability to go upstairs and change the player's layer as he does so. But we'll do that in the next video. Until then, I hope you found this one helpful. If you have, please be sure to like, subscribe, or just leave me a comment below. Until next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.